From its rather obscure beginnings as a way to record transactions for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, blockchain is now set to revolutionize practically every facet of our lives. Sectors from finance to healthcare are rushing to grasp and apply its disruptive potential. And what better place to find out more than here at the Future Blockchain Summit? It's an event in Dubai built as the largest of its kind in the world. Having the ability to securely upload data to the blockchain and access it in real time is a game changer. It can simplify all kinds of processes, saving time and cutting costs. Software giant SAP uses the life cycle of a pineapple to showcase how supply chains and even custom checks could be streamlined using the blockchain. This is an example of a um, life cycle of a pineapple. This chain starts obviously with the farmer and they show if they have any certificates that they have to upload, they would register them themselves. From there, uh, you have um, a, war, um, a farm worker that would come and pick and harvest these items. So again, you want to make sure that you're tracking the harvest each day and he just needs to have a simple mobile uh, app on his phone where he records how many kilos he has um, put, what is the date of the harvest and also the IDs of these boxes. This is tracked on the blockchain as well so that when they want to do the payment, um, they can actually uh, go and first of all benchmark against the market price to make sure that even the payment is fair payment. When you have a shipper, uh, shipment that is going from one place to another, from um, you know South America to Europe, and you see along the way all of the uh, these ownership changes, which are the intermediaries. At the same time, we need to monitor the, the temperature. You can track some some of the sensor data real time. At the same time. We see that customs usually are, are one of the areas that are bottleneck in our shipping. You know, it takes so much time. Using the blockchain, since it is a secure platform, why don't we give access to the custom agents so that they pre-clear the shipment and it's ready to go? Blockchain can also empower patients to track their medicine, ensure it's safe for consumption, and report any adverse reactions to local health authorities. All that using a mobile app called Donor. It's a new, a new standard of track and trace, which empowers the patients to verify that the medicine is safe. It was not exposed to temperature beyond what is acceptable that it was not tempered with and that it is selling from the same location, the product was not diverted to another location. The tag that we are using, the RFID tag actually, has an anti-temper feature. So it's a sticker that, that would be on the inside. If anybody is actually opening that, uh, that medicine pack, it will automatically direct you to an address saying it's no longer safe for you to use. If a patient has used the medicine and got certain adverse reaction, he can now directly report to the health authorities, to the doctor and the manufacturer from a press of one button. By actually going the step forward to allow for the patient to verify for themselves, that gives us about 10,000 times more data versus existing standards. And it allows us to deliver many services for the manufacturer to know instantly if there's any problem that requires recall. They can easily manage what is the strategic inventory in a country or a city and understand how many of those products are safe or unsafe, where is it exactly selling, so how to maintain that inventory across a number of medicines, all, all having the same functionality. The doctors can see the information if the patient allows that access to his own data for that specific time or that specific condition. So in the near future, whether you're buying a pineapple or waiting for a medicine delivery, it looks like blockchain will play a major part in it all.